Hi, I'm Nurse Huckleberry, and today we're gonna be making cucumber gondolas. It's terrifying. It's my long lost twin. It'll be fine. Get out of the kitchen. What are you doing in here? Get out of here. Bert, have you heard the news? Bert, the news. There's a storm coming. A tropical storm coming to us here in LA, Bert. I know, it's terrifying. But you know what is a great storm food? Gondolas. Gondolas will get us through this, because there might be floods. It's a salad. You don't need to cook it. Well, except it's a, a little bit. Anyways, um, I, you're, you're wondering, cucumber gondolas, where's that from? Our old friend, the Creative Course Cooking Book. No, what do you think about that? Got a nice picture right here. I have made these once before. Oh, shoot, I didn't get more lettuce. I think we'll be okay. We can put it on spring mix. That's what it's supposed to look like? <laughs> this is what it's supposed to look like. Where's the cucumber? It's this. That's the cucumber. It is the gondola. I'm very excited. I made them before and they were pretty bland. So I'm gonna make one following the recipe and then I'm gonna jazz. Oh man, damn it. Just lose the page. Shh. And then I have some ideas written down for how to jazz up and make one tastier, all right? All right, but first. No. <laughs> we gotta go to the store. We need cucumbers. We gotta Not go to the during store. During the storm. Look, this is good. We can prep for the storm. We should buy some water or something. Pick a cucumber already. They're gonna be gondolas. They need to be straight. Where are the radishes? You too. It's my long lost twin. You, you wear it better. <laughs> Hey, can I get a snack? Hey, you want some radishes? No. What is this? Injectables? It comes with a syringe. Oh. We don't need that. Stammy, stammy. Put it down. Hey, do we need that much wine? There's a storm coming. Can I get this? It's on sale. How much? $1.80. Oh yeah, good. Go get two. I don't want That's, to. Okay. Now this looks like a good snack. I snack. <laughs> All right, we have returned to Aragon. Bananas don't go in it. Actually, most of this doesn't go in it. Mostly just kind of the cucumbers, pimento. Freaking radishes. Oh, and this. Everything else is kind of just snacks. Also need shrimp. The only thing you gotta cook, if you buy cooked shrimp, you don't even have to cook them. These are raw. So, <laughs> I'm going to cook them. You guys playing nicely? Okay, slice off one third of the cucumber lengthwise, then cut long strips of peeling from the cut portions for garnish. It's a good looking cucumber. I don't know if that's a third, but sure. And then cut long strips of peeling. I hope there's enough cucumber to last us through the storm. We'll be fine. This is plenty of cucumber. Plenty of cucumber. <gasps> you know what I'm most excited about for this tropical storm? The problem with West Hollywood is uh, it's so expensive. Almost no one has kids here. You know what there are lots of though? Dogs. And there are certain areas of the neighborhood that just absolutely reek of dog pee because we don't get rain very frequently and it's not like they're gonna just dump gallons of water down the street to wash away all the dog urine. So it consistently stinks like dog pee. I'm very excited for that to not be happening. It doesn't actually say to do this, but this is gonna make it stand up a lot better if it's flat. Oh, look at that. Wow. Dice enough of this portion of cucumber, make a quarter cup. Now I'm making two thirds of the recipe because they say to use three cucumbers. That's too many. Yeah, it's supposed to serve six people, so. Is that enough shrimp? I don't think it actually is. And now we scoop out the middle to make the perfect gondola for the storm. I'm like Noah, building the ark right now. Uh, is this how he did it? I'm pretty sure this is how he did it. With you a know? spoon? Yeah, with a spoon. Also, they don't tell you to keep the inside, but like, I'm keeping the inside, man. Make a face mask for the storm. You know, I thought this would be easier. Technique. All right, 
looks pretty good to me. Nice. Nice, nice. All right, so now I need to trim these to make the arches. <laughs> this is decorative. It's decorative, okay? Trim these, make them smooth. That's nice. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, arches. And then, I need to chop up shrimps. Shrimps, done. Okay, they're still hot, but they'll be fine. I got my strips. This is nowhere near enough shrimp. That Not is. the size, it's how you use them. It's fine. Chopped shrimp. High quality chopped shrimp. And this is where the roads diverge. Well, almost. Got fresh tarragon. Mince that up. We need the mayonnaise. Oh, and celery. I forgot. I need to finally chop celery. Oh, thanks so much. Yeah, this is some good celery. I picked it myself from the garden. Oh, the garden in the fridge? Yeah. <laughs> grow stuff in there. Sometimes stuff grows. Normally not the stuff we want. Yeah. This is probably as much I had. I don't know. What? Well, I didn't. I only need a quarter cup. Sorry. Nice, fine little mints. You just want a nice little small. Look at me. Look where you're I cutting. can mince with my eyes closed. These are skills you need to, to freaking weather the storm. The storm. The storm. Hillary. So what's next? Green onion. Whoa. Yes. We gotta board up the windows. The reason we're making these gondolas. <laughs> we gotta weather the storm, okay? We're gonna survive. Nobody else is making gondolas. I don't know what to expect. Should we tell them? Look, man, there's only so many resources. If we're gonna make it out of the storm alive, we gotta keep it to ourselves, okay? It's us and the cats against the world. The cats aren't helping. All right, so I get to mix everything up. I've got my cucumber, shrimps, green onion, and celery. I got all that in there. And then it says mayo. How much? And salt. And it calls for an eighth teaspoon of white pepper. Good thing we got white pepper. I did buy white pepper specifically for all the vintage recipes I do because I always call for it. And then it just says combine, toss lightly. Tossing it? I'm tossing it. Tossing it lightly? I'm tossing it lightly. Prove it. What do you think I'm doing? I'm tossing it lightly. I can't prove anything. That looks like a medium toss. Oh my God. Get out of the kitchen. What are you doing in okay. here? Get out of here. I'll put this in the fridge for now. These are colossal olives. They're so big. I've seen bigger. Oh my God. This says 21 large, which would mean seven olives per. I don't think we need that many. I think I need this many. It's so squeaky. Oh fuck. In the picture, it shows them cut into petals. Or you, you cut them into quarters like this is what they said. But these are huge. These are very large. We'll see how it goes. My version, because I think that this is a terrible way of doing it because it's really hard to eat and they all just fall off. I am going to mince some olives and just put them in the bottom of the boat. Is that going to help with the weight distribution? Yeah, to get us through the storm. Look at all the stuff they got hanging on the sides. That is improperly balanced. Yeah, it would never the, weather the storm. How's the rudder? in a rut. Gondolas don't have rudder. I've never been on a boat before. You did once, right? Threw up. <laughs> you know, I've thrown up on boats before. <laughs> a bunch of times. Not a solid gondola like this, though. No, never. <laughs> kayak, though. Definitely totally borfed. Isn't bean. that why they call it a kayak? Uh, this feels like a lot of olives. <laughs> But that's okay. That's okay. We're just gonna, I'm gonna fill my boat. I'm gonna start filling my boat. Maybe I'll have to make some tapenade or something with the rest of the Didn't realize how much it was going to be when I started the chopping. Makes me wonder if the gondolas in Italy have olives in the bottom. Okay, pimentos. It did call for three whole pimentos. Those don't exist anymore. So I have sliced pimentos and six radishes, which I think the radishes are a bad call. Bad call? Mm-hmm. Why? They're only for decoration and they're boring and nobody likes to eat just radish. Well, I mean, I guess not nobody, but most people don't just like to eat radish. Okay, so I need to fill the boats with a shrimp or I can move on to the next step for this one, which is good because I wanted 
it to re-season mine. This is definitely not enough shrimp. They were out of shrimp at the store. No, they weren't. We just didn't buy any. You said we had enough. No, I said we had some. I said, do you think we should get more shrimp? And you said, no, we probably have enough. So we didn't buy more shrimp. Well, now we can't go back to the store. No, I don't want to go back to the store. The storm. The storm. It was so busy. Ugh, it was such a mess in there. All right. Well, it's a very shallow gondola. You know, it's, it's got room for us. There's more room for us on the gondola. Some of my amendments, um, I think it needs acid. So I'm going to add a little red wine vinegar. Ooh, I'm gonna add a little black pepper. I'm not going to put pimento in it because I don't think it needs that. I don't think it needs a pimento, personally. Yeah, it's probably good. Compare that with the other one. I mean, I hope I split it evenly. I feel like I did. I think the uh, olives in the bottom are really helping, you know, fill it out. Give it some height. This is not going well. I'll be fine. You know, it's like, it's hard to find the ingredients that they used to buy in the 70s. It's like nobody liked them anymore. They don't want them. Who, who needs whole pimento? Not you, not me. Mine doesn't look nearly as pretty as the picture. If I had the correct pimentos and the correct olives and more shrimp, maybe that would have worked. But you know, you get what you get. Probably should have checked on the shrimp before we left. Excuse me, Bart. Excuse me. I need to get in here. Excuse me. All right, all right, go back. Okay, decorative radish flower. Great, make two of these. See, this is a problem. It's taking up all the seats on the gondola. Maybe that's supposed to be us. Is that us? Oh, that looks like me. Make one that looks like you. Okay. I just gotta take away all the parts that don't look like me, and then what's left behind is me as a radish. I never even thought about that. Mm-hmm. That's so Let me see next, are you next to it. A long lost twin. Unlike that guy in the store, he was not nice. Maybe it's the storm. It's getting to everybody. Hillary. What about you, Bert? <laughs> Bert! Oh my god. All right. You eating something? Olives. So I think radish is stupid. So on my version, it's not getting radish. I'm gonna do cute celeries. Cause celery is tastier. I don't know, I like it better. And then, I'm not putting any pimento on mine. I don't think it needs it. I think the pimento is just for decoration and it looks ugly. I don't like that. I do want, however, some toasted breadcrumbs. That would be tastier. It is an adequate amount of breadcrumbs. <laughs> I really don't need all of these. That's good enough. Toasty toasty. While it toasts, I'm going to do my over the tops. You want me to do anything to it? No, I'm just going to toast a little bit and then I'll toss it in a second. Yeah, that is toasting. Perfect. Unfortunately, it's the bottom of the breadcrumbs, so it's like all the really little bits, but that's okay. I don't know what freaking cucumbers, look how long that is. How long of a cucumber are they using? Long one, average. I mean, it does say long, three long, Mr. I guess I did not pick long cucumbers. Okay, this one's done. And then for mine, I wanna put the little toasty breadcrumbs on top. Mm-hmm. And then I think the little strips look dumb. So I'm just gonna do one strip in the middle. I think maybe if I had a longer cucumber, they'd look better. But this length of cucumber, I think just the one is good. And last but not least, they got a little tarragani parsley moment on the top on theirs. So we can sprinkle. Is that supposed to be the rain from the storm? We just got a taste and we'll determine which one is better and how they are in general also. Now, this probably would be a lot better if there was an adequate amount of shrimp. That's my bad. Do you want a whole half of a gondola? <laughs> no. Oh my radish. Was this me or you? I think that was me. Oh my was God. Oh my God. Then? Look, okay, if this gondola takes one hit and it's just capsizing, terrible gondola. Okay. Oh God, how are you supposed to eat this? How are you supposed to serve this? How are you supposed to eat this? No directions? It's a party food? Because what would make sense would be just like, a lot of olive. I mean, obviously, again, I didn't put enough shrimp in here, but. The shrimp that is in there is okay. I don't know how you're supposed to eat that. Give me flashbacks to the dip. Hillary. Number two, my version. That is a solid gondola. What's over here? Nothing, garbage. Okay, a little cross section action. You can see that olive is at the bottom. What's <laughs> <laughs> on?
It's gonna be tough. You crying? If I can make it through. <clears throat> Might have gotten breadcrumbs on my uvula. That's pretty good though. Well, it is easier to eat. <laughs> I just chose to eat it in a dumb way. It is easier to eat. And I'll say I seasoned it differently. You know, I added some black pepper. I added some acid to it. And I like the addition of the breadcrumbs. It gives a nice savoriness in a different way from the pimento. I don't like the pimento. It's so slimy. It's just too slimy. Damn, yeah, I like this. To put all this together, including the goofy garnish, like a third the time as the other one, maybe a quarter of the time. This took forever to put all the stupid olives on. And they're dumb and they just fall off and it's too much olive. It just tastes like olives. And you know what's better? There's a little bit of olives in the bottom. Look at that. That's the stuff, Bert. That's the stuff. Dude, which one did you like better? Your version. If the breadcrumbs was a good call. Mm-hmm. 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 The breadcrumbs was a good call. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. This video is gonna go up on Monday and we'll be in the thick of the storm. Who knows if we're gonna make it? Who knows if the gondolas will survive? I can tell you they're not gonna survive tonight because uh, we're gonna eat them. But, uh, you know, come Sunday, if we get the floods, I'm making more gondolas. Maybe I'll use bananas next time. We got a lot of bananas right now. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give us a little thumb up follow the channel if you haven't already and if you want to see more from us we got plenty of other videos one and two we stream live on twitch sunday tuesday and thursday evenings 10 p.m pacific standard time uh where we do more chaotic cooking it's a great time isn't that right bart yeah video to your left oh this way <laughs> tell him bart <laughs> click it yeah, it pays for his treats. Actually, nothing's paid for yet. We're really hoping to monetize the channel. Thanks so much. Okay, bye. Say bye, Bert. Say bye, Bert. Yeah.